Hi, I'm Lindy and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over how to make the crispiest chicken wings at home. If you've ever tried to make chicken wings at home and you've been disappointed because they haven't turned out crispy, this recipe is for you. But you don't have to drag out your air fryer or use a deep fryer and all that oil. I'm going to show you a special trick that I learned to make them crispy without using gadgets or a lot of oil. So let's get started. I'll make a homemade ranch as a dipping sauce, a quick pickled carrot that adds like a little bit of tang to the dish, and the wings are going to be two ways. So a spicy Korean barbecue sauce, which happens to be my favorite and is always the first wing to go when I make these for guests, and a traditional buffalo wing. So stay tuned to the end for the ranch dressing and how it all comes together. Let's get started. So we have wings here. And this is the step that's really important for getting that crisp without the oil and without any gadgets. So whatever wing that you find at the grocery store, this is about a little over a pound. Okay, so the secret is baking powder. I know it sounds crazy, but this is how you get that crisp. So throw your wings in a bowl and for every pound, use like a teaspoon to a tablespoon of baking powder. So I have a little over a pound and I've used a bunch of different ranges over the years, but I tend to like a little bit more for that crisp. So about a tablespoon of baking powder over these wings. Again, this is what's gonna get that nice crispy wing that you typically get in a restaurant. but just in the oven. All right, coat those. Now we're gonna place these wings on a sheet pan and let them hang out for about eight to 12 hours. So I usually do this step the day before. Let's go. Well, the oven is preheating to 450, let's make the sauces. So the Korean barbecue sauce first. You need some minced garlic, three tablespoons, place directly in the saucepan that we'll heat it up with. The main ingredient is gochugang. So what is that? It is a soybean paste with chili peppers. You can skip on this one. You can find this at most grocery stores now or definitely at an Asian market. Uh, when I grew up, this kind of stuff wasn't available at the grocery store, but lately when I head to the grocery store, I can find it in the Asian section. So that we need about three tablespoons. There's not really a good replacement for this, so if you can't find it, I uh, would order it on Amazon or maybe make a different sauce. <laughs> it's really unique and delicious. Okay, it's a little bit spicy. You could put about a half a teaspoon of honey if you want it a little bit more sweet, but I find that the gochugang is sweet enough. All right, the next main ingredient is gochugaru, which is like a red pepper. So we got about a half teaspoon of that. This is one is spicy. So if you want it a little bit more spicy, add more. If you want a little less, use less. Okay, two tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari. I'm going to use tamari. Tamari is gluten-free, but I've used soy sauce before. Okay about one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. About a teaspoon of sesame oil. A little goes a long way with sesame oil. And two tablespoons of water. If you want some more sweetness, you can certainly add some honey. But again, I think it gets enough sweetness from the gochugang. But this is your sauce, so make it high. Okay, stir on low heat. We're gonna let this sauce again on low heat come to a simmer till it comes together. So the measurements for this sauce are based on one pound of chicken wings, so you can double it, triple it, etc. 
based on how many wings or how many pounds of wings you have. Let's taste it to see how it's coming along. Mmm, really good. Spicy. All right, place the sauce in a bowl. This is a bowl that we'll toss the wings in later. Final ingredient for this sauce is about a half a tablespoon of melted butter. If you've never made wings at home, this might be the first time you're learning <laughs> that there's often butter in the sauces. All right, you can melt this butter in the microwave or on a stove top. I'm gonna put mine in the microwave. Okay, add that half tablespoon of melted butter directly into the sauce and whisk. And she'll be ready for chicken wings when they're out of the oven later. Next, let's make the buffalo sauce, that traditional sauce that we're all familiar with. You can use Frank's Red Hot, which I like, or Crystal. This Crystal is extra hot, so I probably won't use this one today because the Korean barbecue wings are pretty spicy. So, into another big glass bowl, I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of the Frank's, and again, about a half a tablespoon of butter melted. Whisk in the melted butter, and this is definitely the easier of the two sauces as it's done and ready for the wings when they come out of the oven. All right, before we make the ranch, let's make that quick pickled carrot. So you need a carrot of any size. I usually buy bulk carrots at the grocery store because that's the cheapest way. You can usually get a couple carrots for like less than a dollar. Cutting these carrots nice and small and let's layer them in a shallow dish, shallow so that when I pour the vinegar over the carrots, it's kind of in a sea of vinegar. I'm using rice vinegar. You could use white wine vinegar, whatever really you have in your pantry. I can't tell that big of a difference between the two when I make a quick pickle at home. Okay, so it's really as simple as that. A lot of recipes that you'll find for this will also add sugar. I find that there's no need. It tastes just as good with the vinegar. And again, we're trying to reduce the amount of sugar we're consuming because globally we just eat too much of it and it's not beneficial for our health. Okay, I'm gonna place these in the fridge until we're ready to eat. Time to make homemade ranch dressing. I'm going to use my homemade avocado oil mayo. I will link a video above on how to make that. I made it in one of my YouTube shorts. It's super easy and it tastes really good and it's really mild. So it's great for something like making a homemade ranch. So we take a half cup of avocado oil mayo, and this will keep for a few weeks. A half a tablespoon of dried parsley. You can also use fresh chopped parsley if you have that in your fridge. Both work great here. A half a tablespoon of onion powder. I'm eyeballing this because I've made it a bunch of times. Please feel free to use your measurement tools. <laughs> you can always adjust the taste. Okay, a half a teaspoon of dill weed. This is super important. Really gives that ranchy flavor. I'm a newcomer to ranch. I did not like it when I was growing up. Started liking it a couple years ago. I don't know what happened, but I love to make it at home now and garlic powder. So about a half a teaspoon pepper. Less is more here with salt, hard to take away salt. And a splash of milk of your choice. Traditionally, it's made with buttermilk. I don't have buttermilk at home and I don't really like the tang of buttermilk. But if you like your buttermilky ranch, go for it. This is a non-dairy milk, regular milk works great as well. Again, whatever you have at home. Milk just helps thin out the dressing a little bit. Okay, and then mix, whisk together. Okay. 
While the wings are finishing in the oven, let's chop up some celery sticks and green onion for garnish for the Korean barbecue wings. So these wings are best when they're super crispy and right out of the oven. So if you're making these for dinner for your family or if you're hosting something like a Super Bowl party, throw the wings in the oven kind of at the last minute once, you know, maybe like 40, 45 minutes before people are gonna eat. That's when they're gonna taste the crispiest and the best. First time I had Korean barbecue sauce was when my best friend's brother married a girl from South Korea. And at their wedding, they had the most amazing Korean food. And growing up in a small town, I really wasn't exposed to that as a child just because we didn't have access to um, food like that. Um, it's different now that my hometown is growing. Um, so I really didn't eat that kind of stuff until I moved to San Francisco and then Southern California. Chicago and LA also have really good Korean food. And here in the States, Chicago and LA also have really good Korean food. Sesame seeds for the top. Check on our pickled carrots. Mmm. The vinegar is already seeping through. If you can make this the day before, go for it. But it's still really good if you have time for just a quick pickle. Finished product is so crispy. Time to assemble. Take half the wings and put them in the Korean barbecue sauce and the other half in the buffalo sauce. Toss to coat. Sprinkle sesame seeds and green onions on the Korean barbecue. Extra sauce on top. And they're ready. Mmm, vinegar carrot first. Excellent. So good. As always, thank you for joining. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.